The Distinguished Flying Cross is America's oldest military aviation award and is the fourth highest combat medal. It was conceived by Congress in 1926 at the urging of Senator Hiram Bingham of Connecticut, an air power advocate and World War I pilot. President Calvin Coolidge signed the executive order authorizing the award on July 2nd of that same year. The new medal could be awarded to pilots and air crew in the Air Corps of the Army, the Navy, or Marines, who after April 6, 1917, distinguished themselves in an act of heroism or extraordinary achievement while participating in aerial flight. The Coast Guard was added in 1937 and the Air Force in 1947. The medal could be awarded retroactively and could also be earned for non-combat achievements such as setting endurance flight records or other significant aviation acts. It was also the first military decoration to be created with the identical medal and award criteria for every service branch. The Distinguished Flying Cross Medal was designed by Elizabeth Will and Arthur E. Dubois, both working at the Army's Institute of Heraldry. It is a bronze cross with rays extending between the arms of the cross. Superimposed on the cross is a four-bladed propeller. The cross symbolizes sacrifice and the propeller depicts flight. The ribbon reflects the nation's colors and is a series of red, white, and blue stripes. Subsequent awards of the Distinguished Flying Cross are indicated by oak leaf clusters for Army and Air Force personnel and by award stars for members of the Naval Services. The first Distinguished Flying Cross award citations were presented to the Pan American flight crews on May 2, 1927 by President Coolidge for their five-ship, 22,000-mile flight. President Coolidge presented the first Distinguished Flying Cross medal on 11 June 1927 to Captain Charles A. Lindbergh of the Army Air Corps Reserve for his solo flight of 33 and a half hours spanning 3,600 miles across the Atlantic Ocean in May of 1927. Lindbergh is also a member of the Distinguished Flying Cross Society. Though the medal was intended for military aviators, exceptions have been made for civilians to receive the award, including the Wright Brothers, Wiley Post, the first pilot to fly solo around the world, and Amelia Earhart, the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic. There is no exact count of how many DFCs have been awarded, only that many well-known and accomplished aviators have received the medal. From its inception up to our present day, some of the most noteworthy recipients are George H.W. Bush, John McCain, Tex Hill, Jimmy Doolittle, Joe Foss, Curtis LeMay, John Glenn, George McGovern, Jimmy Stewart, Chuck Yeager, and others. One of the more recent recipients is Kim Campbell, call sign Killer Chick, who successfully flew her A-10 Thunderbolt back to her base after receiving heavy combat damage over Baghdad. Those who have been awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross are members of an elite group, one which has come to represent incredible courage and aviation achievement. We honor their flying skills and exceptional daring.